This video will show the development steps taken to incorporate a remontoir into the next wooden clock design. A normal clock will have a weight which will drive an escapement directly through the gear train. In a remontoir design the escapement is driven by a separate weight which is in turn driven by the main gear train. The advantage to the escapement is that it sees a constant load that is not affected by any errors in the gear train itself. It also has the advantage of not causing the gear train to be continuously stopped and started with the attendant variations in frictional forces. I made four rigs to test which would be the best way of building the remontoir. This first design uses a cord wrapped around the last gear in the train and then around the escapement. In between we have suspended the escapement weight and the tension weight the escapement weight drives the escapement until its weight touches on the bottom link which in turn lifts the latch holding back the gear train. Now free to move, the gear train pulls the escapement weight back up until its latch stops further movement. Whilst this is happening, the escapement weight is applying a constant load to the escapement with the winding action taking place between two ticks. This rig was useful in as much that it showed the concept would work with the wooden clock's gravity escapement, but it also showed that the accuracy would be quite poor. The ladder chain rig was the first attempt to improve the accuracy by driving through two identical sprockets using a chain instead of a cord. This prevented the slippage that caused the inaccuracies in the first rig, but unfortunately the chain had a tendency to stick and stop the rig working, so it was not really a viable solution. However, this rig incorporated a revised method for releasing the latch. It used a finger mounted at the back of the escape wheel that released the latch once every revolution. This was simpler than the robin design used in the first rig and turned out to be more accurate. The third rig uses a timing belt which works more smoothly than the chain but would have the same advantages of maintaining accuracy. Unfortunately the belt proved difficult to use without having a large tension weight to keep the teeth engaged with the pulley. The trouble is that the belts have an inherent stiffness that the chains don't possess and therefore need more tension to overcome this and so this was not considered a suitable choice for the design. The final rig uses a traditional grandfather clock, chain and sprocket. Perhaps it should have been the first choice because not only did it work well and accurately, it looks the part when used in a wooden clock. So this is the arrangement that will be used in the next clock. The chain used here has 33 links per foot and perhaps is a little coarse in its movement so I may use a finer 42 links per foot in the actual clock itself. <laughs> 